Hi guys, the Breakdown Rugby Podcast, and we are back today with another video, our most important video today, our Rugby World Cup predictions. As we know, the 2023 Rugby World Cup is set to be the most high spectacle, high stakes Rugby World Cup that we've seen to date. That starts next week, Friday, with France versus New Zealand. Kieran and Rohan, how are we feeling? Showtime. It's showtime in rugby. It's the stage has been set for eight months now. All the talking has been done, the arguing between fans. It's now time for teams to put everything on the line going into this World Cup. And it's going to, I think, whoever wins this is going to be the best team ever. Because I think it's the most competitive World Cup. I'm excited for it. A week away. Yeah, I think, as Kieran said, it's the most competitive sort of World Cup I think we've ever had. Um, I, overall, I still predict France to win, but I'm really excited to just see see what happens. Going into the World Cup and breaking it down, of course, we know, look, let's look at it from the, the perspective of pools. In Pool A, we've got New Zealand, France, Italy, uh, and two other relevant teams that probably aren't going to really make much noise. But in terms of Pool A, I probably have my winners being New Zealand. I think a team that's maybe unfairly, you know, got a, a bit of disrespect from the rugby world. But what can we expect to see from Pool A and who is everybody's favourite to win? New Zealand. I don't think you can look past New Zealand, I think. With France, they've been struck with injury after injury after injury leading up to it. I think New Zealand have come in with fine form, regardless of the South Africa loss the day. I think all that's going to top the ball. And I don't think it's going to be that hard for them either. I think France is going to, they're going to blow out France by at least 15 to 20 points. I mean, initially I said France would win this pool, but with recent injuries and with the game, the game against New Zealand being so early, I think they might, they could lose this one. And that would mean that New Zealand would top the group. However, I do think these two teams will meet again in the final. I think the issue is with New Zealand. If you look at New Zealand, right, historically, they're a team. Every single World Cup New Zealand have gone to, they've and, and won, they've been the favourite, right? And I think this World Cup's a bit different. But if New Zealand can go make a statement win next week, Friday, I think everybody will be looking at them as, as the favourites for the World Cup. And New Zealand losing two massive games back to back, obviously that South Africa game at Twickenham, and then losing again on the Open Number World Cup final, having never lost a group stage game ever. I don't see that happening. I think, like Kieran said, New Zealand will blow out uh, France by 15 to 20 points. No, but no, by 15 to 20. Nah, 100%, mate. They, they've they got the pack. I think they, they, in terms of player for player, New Zealand's probably a better team at the moment. But other other teams in there were looking at Italy. Do we think Italy can maybe spring a surprise, no. knock over France, New Zealand? Nah. No, no, I think they'll they'll play well against the the slightly worse teams. Is it, I believe Tonga's in their pool. Am I right in saying that? Uh, Uruguay or... and Namibia. That's oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, and, yeah. <laughs> they will. So they'll they'll be entertaining to watch. I think against those two teams. But when they come up against France and New Zealand, there's no contest whatsoever. Not all yeah, it's, part of it's giants versus midgets. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It's 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 giants versus midgets, and I think with the, the two competitors at the top, it's 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 irrelevant after those two teams. In all honesty, none of them are going to cause noise, and none of them are going to kick up a fuss. So I think, yeah, like for me, New Zealand and France go on into the quarters. And would you say final question that we're going to have for every single pool stage? Are we looking at potential winner in pool A? From those, yeah. from any of those teams, do we maybe have two potential winners on our hands? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think they're the top two seeds for me. Karen, what do you reckon? I think, I think, yeah, I think New Zealand have the highest chance. A hundred percent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If you're looking at history, form, I'm gonna have to say New Zealand do have a massive chance of going on to become World Cup winners, probably over France. Paul B. Now we're looking at South Africa, Ireland, Scotland, Tonga, and Romania. The group that's now been uh, coined the term the Pool of Death. How are we feeling about this pool going into the World Cup week? I think it's um it's a pool that excites me the most, 100%. I think you've genuinely got three contenders who on the day at a World Cup can cause an upset. We know what South Africa are like at World Cups, losing to Japan, losing to teams like that. They they do have upset teams. Kieran, and I Kieran. Think with, 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 Scotland, with Scotland lurking in there, I, I wouldn't be sitting too comfortable if I was Ireland or Scotland. Ireland or, Ireland or South Africa, sorry. Well, what do you reckon? Um, yeah, I think it's probably the most exciting pool for me. Definitely the one one that I'm more excited to watch. Um, as Kieran said, there are three contenders, but you would you would back Ireland and South Africa to get through both of them. But that being said, with Finn Russell, anything it's almost like anything can happen. So so it's I wouldn't rule out Scotland getting out of the group. I think in terms of if we're looking at favourite in the pool, I'm a South African fan, but we have to be impartial here and talk about on form and what the bookies are saying. 
Ireland's probably the favourite going into this competition, uh, into this pool, right? Do we see a chance that Ireland could go uh, exit the group group stages unscathed, maybe not losing a single game? Do we see that happening? Ireland, because I'm having a weird feeling that there is a chance that Ireland, South Africa and Scotland could potentially all pick up losses. And then maybe maybe the group stage is really, really tight as they leave out. People are talking about maybe the group stage going to bonus points and all of that. But do we see that potentially happening with this pool? I think... I think with uh, in the group stage, how I see it planning out is that South Africa will top the pool. I yeah. think they'll beat Ireland in the groups, and I think they'll beat Scotland, and I think Ireland will do the same, but not beat South Africa. So I think Ireland are going to sit second comfortably, and I think they'll be happy with that. I think they really will be happy with that. Right, what do you yeah. I w- I would say the same as Kieran. I think South Africa are building perfectly, uh, and this Ireland game is just a perfect opportunity for them. So yeah, I do think they win. But I think the real problem is that the games that they're playing, four of them, you know, Tonga's in the pool as well. So there's a lot of tough games, a lot of injuries. You're not going to get out of that pool unscathed. And Romania. We, we can't, we cannot talk about Romania. We, we cannot, like, stop. <laughs> That's, I, I, love, I love our Romanian fans on this uh, podcast. But no, um, I, I'm going to have to agree and say that Scotland, Scot- um, South Africa will top the pool. But do we think Scotland is going to be a potential dark horse in this competition? I mean, look, looking mm. at their recent results, they nearly beat France. They nearly beat France in their own back garden. As Rowan said, when Finn Russell time is on, right? And Bliss will tell you this as well. When Finn Russell looks at his wash and says his Wally's wheel, right? He can get cooking. So are we saying Scotland could potentially cook this World Cup? No, no, no. Let's, let's, we, we, all the, the last couple of months we've been talking about you know prehistoric things that happen at World Cups that South Africa don't lose this at this this and yeah, these moments yeah. and New Zealand always do this. We just have the same kind of logic from this World Cup. Then Scotland don't traditionally do that well at World Cup. So why are we saying now that they're going to cause an upset? I don't think they are. I think they're going to get grouped and they should be booking their home back to Edinburgh. 